Let's play a new game. <laughs> this stair was kind of your idea, you know. But I'm glad I'm me out here and not you in there. <laughs> I think I've heard those same loving words before. Like the time you guys dared me to spend the night at that cemetery. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, if you die in the museum tonight, I'll make sure she gives a eulogy at your funeral. <laughs> we never would have made you spend the night here if you hadn't uh, talked about this place so much. Yeah, we thought you'd been kind of, well, obsessed, thinking you hearing voices and stuff coming from the museum and all. <laughs> Too weird for me. Hey, you know, maybe they're the voices of those kids who disappeared 15 uh -huh. years ago. Right, the police never found the bodies. Or the killer. Yeah, and my sister, you know, Julie, the one in college, says Professor Windelnut went insane. He viciously murdered them and then buried their bodies in the basement of the museum. Uh huh. Well, what if he's hiding in that creepy museum right now, just waiting for another victim? Yeah, and the ghost of his victims are calling out, <laughs> warning you. <laughs> ring, ring. Hello? I think it's for you. <laughs> Get out. Get out. That was just a dog howling. There was something more than that. Well, I didn't hear anything. I think this place is just getting us all spooked. Uh, are you sure you want to go through with this? You could back out at any time. But of course, if you did, you'd probably never live down the chicken jokes. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> You'll be all right. Come on, I don't want to be late for the movie. We'll be back at dawn to let you out. Bye-bye. Bye. See ya. Later. Peace. Ah, you're about to experience only a glimpse of the complete Shivers game, where numerous rooms, hallways, secret passages and mazes contain eerie, mysterious and frightening surprises. This Shivers demo takes you directly to the office, which is in the heart of the museum. See how many terrorizing hours you can stay alive, since your friends may never come back. So the object is to capture one of the evil entities lurking throughout the museum, and our clue is to find the professor, dead or alive. 
So welcome to this uh, Shivers playthrough of the demo. The demo of Shivers, it's one of my favorite Sierra first person games and probably maybe one of the first horror games, if you can call it this, uh, I played. It's certainly got a lot of suspense and uh, yeah, a lot of uh, scares. So we are in the office, which is a little bit further ahead from the beginning of the game. And I'm just going to explore some of the items here because there's loads on this desk. Let's uh, let's start with uh, with this here. It's a scrapbook by professional well, professional professional window nut. It's lots to read. I'm not going to read out everything. I'm playing this demo also as a comparison to the full game. I'm going to try and see if there's any changes they made to the game that didn't uh, make it to the finished product so I'll see this uh, this text over here here is a <laughs> famous professor he looks a bit uh, puzzled or dazzled even This is the son of uh, Windlenut. Well, there is a lot to read, but I have a feeling that I should get straight into the game. Uh, some sort of recorder here. Thirtieth of September, nineteen eighty. Returning from Africa, I discovered something profoundly disturbing. Someone has been here. Furniture has been tipped over. And the book Egyptian Hieroglyphics Explained. Not in its place in the library, but... Face down here on the office floor. And oddly, one of the pages is torn out. And I feel the presence of... Well, I'm not sure. I must investigate the second floor. Puzzles. When I created them, I never stopped to think they would be an obstacle in the event of some terrible occurrence. The Ixupi! Someone has released them from their vessels! Never has anything been so evil. A name written in the lift. Merrick. Who is he? One of the missing youngsters here in my museum? If so, are they both here? Can they still be alive? Evil entities attacking from everywhere, robbing me of my life essence. I can't seem to find the right vessel for eating Soupy. Without it, they can't be captured. Without it, I am doomed. Yeah, that's a nice recording of our uh, professor actually encountering one of these exubies, uh, which are some sort of spirits, some evil entities that we have to capture in uh, what he says, some sort of container. You have to find the right one for each. And uh, I'm not sure if we can actually record something. No, we can't. Uh, but we can play it back. The thing is, I can't stop this recording, Returning that's from Africa. a bit annoying, because I, I wasn't really going to play this again. Disturbing. Anyway, backing out. What is this? Stapler, clock, some books, a phone that we can't interact with, the drawer, yeah, probably nothing in there, but there is something in here which is a letter addressed to Hubert, or Hubert. My dear Hubert, I want to thank you for resigning from the Royal Society and avoiding the shame. Bring publicity dismissed. While our friends have not forgotten how you embarrassed us, they at least have the courtesy to refrain from mentioning your indiscretion in public. 
Had the Griffin been your only LARPs, I think Sir Brown would have dismissed it. But you were constantly, I know you felt slighted by your colleagues and that was why you left England. But Hubert, your reputation is that of a trickster, not a scientist. I'm worried that our son might not be accepted into the proper social circles. Which brings me to the point of this letter. It would be much better for Geoffrey if you cease all communications with him. His future is far too important to risk jeopardizing in which dreams of a father digging up some myth from a desert tomb. I trust that you will do the honorable thing and leave Geoffrey alone while you play with your museum. With regards, Mary Elizabeth Windlenut. So, interesting letter here. Of the, uh, I would say, the wife or sister. Yeah, probably the wife. Ah, and in this drawer we find, tum -tum -tum -tum, a headpiece. I think we can have a look at that. Can we? Yeah, we can. Music changes drastically. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I was gonna try and zoom in. Or zoom out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No up and down, but just the left and the right. This is the... Uh, the top part of... some container. Now we also have another gadget over here, and that's our, uh, yeah, basically our uh, menu. But we also have a score. We already have forty-seven hundred points. We can also adjust the brightness, which doesn't seem to do much at the moment. The volume. Uh, there is a flashback. Care to refresh your memory? So this basically takes us throughout the game. We have the intro movie and then some other stuff, but we haven't discovered much. Uh, we can play full screen, which I think we're already doing. Uh, we can do some with the text, but that's not very important. That's play or exit. Is exit quit or is play quit? Goodbye. Goodbye. No. No goodbye. <laughs> ah, I just wanted to test that out. So here we are back. And what about this? What's this? Scraps of paper that we... Oh, that's actually not a drawer open, but that's actually the carpet, right? Well, there was a mention of a book of hieroglyphics on the uh, on the office floor. So let's see if we can find that. Yeah, I must explore. What 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 is there to explore? This part of. Atlantis, it's uh, ah, we can zoom in, yeah. That's all very nice. I'm going to walk around the uh, the office a bit, and I think right here, yeah, yeah, you can already hear the sound of some entity swooshing in the fireplace. I think uh, there it is. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, just leashed at us. And we, we lost some life essence here, so we can't stay here for too long. We need to capture that beast. There's nothing else that we can take from this uh, fireplace. There's a door over here. Would it open? Yeah. Yeah, it is going somewhere, but um, can we go out? Yeah, we can. But before we go out here, we at 
I'd like to explore the office a bit more. You can only unlock the secrets of this room by purchasing shivers. Do you dare? Oh, that's lovely. I love that. I mean, it was specially recorded for this demo, and those are the kind of things that I'm always looking for in, in playing these kind of demos. So if you dare enter this room, your friends may never find you again. I don't know. The, the friends... yeah, the friends... Uh... Let's have a look at the uh, the office floor. Is there anything on the office floor? Yeah, here we go. Another letter. My dearest Jeffrey, I was deeply gratified to receive your letter. After eight years, I was afraid you would never forgive me. Your letter, however, gave me hope that I might once again be part of your life. You may not be aware of this, but your mother felt it best that I distance myself from you. She was perhaps correct. When I first dreamed of the museum, you were to be... He... Uh, you were to be uh, a... Your, a... your life? Wait. When I first dreamed of the museum, you were to be... A... Your life. Right. You may not be aware of this. Oh, oh wait, wait. Oh, ha, yeah, okay. This this is... Yeah. I get it. Mm. Yeah, you are to be part of it. 20 years have passed and it is still incomplete. I do feel, however, with the... Tingled Schwarty acquisition and an upcoming trip to Zimbabwe, your collection will be complete. Please, once view the museum and... Tell me what you think. Yours is the only opinion I treasure most in all the... Well, this is a letter of the of the sun, I think. Is it? It's incomplete. So that was a, a letter of our wife and our son. Yeah, it's uh, some sort of family tragedy. So, um, table has been top, but the book of hieroglyphs is not to be found. Or hieroglyphs, I must say. No, can't do much here. Something maybe in the in the bookcase we can. Oh, what's this? A part of the teenagers missing. This is the boy who's been. Oh, I can't read that. Is is this the boy who's been following me? Right. Beth Nelson and Merrick Campbell. I can't say I can remember too much about the missing kids, uh, but um, it's certainly a nice side story. Now we cannot have a look at the left, we can only turn around. Yeah. Okay, so there's... Uh, I don't think there's much to see here. In the uh, in the office, we can't. Can we go this way? Oh, we can. Ah, the lift. Yeah, there's a lift here. And uh, we need to play some sort of puzzle. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea how this uh, how this puzzle actually goes, but I think maybe have to get the lines into the. Uh, into them, so it's one, two, and two down, and I think you have to get them into the hole, so if we do one, one, and then down, one, two, one, two, yeah, then we need to get this one down, yeah, uh, I'm eventually gonna get this, I'm sure of it. Get, get get it over each other, okay. Ah, uh, this is going nowhere. Uh, fast. Yeah. 
So they're all these are all two. This is one. And we can only ha we can only move where there's one at a time. And this one is not doing anything though. Someone remind me again how this puzzle works, because have I completely forgot about it? Could be well. I have no idea what I'm doing. Did I tell you that? No clue. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I did have a clue. Diagonal. Right. Let's ride the lift. So I'm not exactly sure where we are. Some underground... Uh, okay, here we have the sort of the same puzzle for getting back. Ah, interesting. There's some sort of camera here. Well, I love the music. It's coming up now. Yeah. And I feel I'm going in circles. No, we are actually arriving at uh, some sort of lake with a boat. That's pretty interesting. And here we have. Uh, oh. Beyond your understanding, you will pay for your curiosity. You are in grave danger. They are so evil. Already some of your life essence has been stolen. I was too old, not fast enough. The Iksupi are so evil. It is imperative to find all of essence, because it seems only when they are united with their talismans do they have any power. My plan was to use them on the Iksupi before any more of them escape into the world. I believe they cannot resist the vessels as long as they're with the talismans and you approach directly. This vessel here is of no use to you, however. Its Iksupi is the one who robbed me of my essence. And he has escaped into the world. And they've ruined my museum! Oh man, that's just horrible. I mean... Who would do such a thing? That's... Yeah, so this is one of the containers where the Exupi uh, need to be captured with. We, we have one. Hopefully we can uh, find some sort of container. Let's see what, uh, what this, where this boat brings us. If we can ride it, that is. You can only unlock the secrets of this room by purchasing shivers. Do you dare? And there are only two ways out of this museum, and this may be one of them, but... No. It's a restricted area. But I love this area. It's, uh, it's very well designed for the time when it came out. So, nothing to do here than leave, I think. Yep. Yeah. 
Okay, now there's a clue. It's the diagonal. You see, the four, the four ones uh, wasn't really aware of that. But now these are yeah okay so these are the blocks you can't you yeah I get it okay it's 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 good it's good I like it one two uh, no not one two one two okay then then this one could be there this one is gonna be somewhere over. Ah, uh, why not fast forward a little bit? <laughs> we're getting somewhere. I feel like we're getting somewhere. So let's go. The only way we can now is into uh, into the museum. Now I don't really want to encounter you at the moment. And this is just fantastic. I I love playing this game. It was the uh, yeah the museum is so spooky and so mysterious. And we're gonna have a little look at some of the artifacts here because I believe that there might be ah oh. yes what is this. Ah, another head. This time, it's uh, a dragon. It is a dragon. And how far are we doing on the uh, on the points? Wow, twenty-seven thousand already. It's um, I don't know why they why they did the score. Of course, the. Uh, the share games like the Larry's and the Police Quest, they all had, you know, points to collect, but this seems to be like an extraordinary amount of points and there's no real total to display either, so what does this mean? Yeah, nothing really. <laughs> well, yeah, you can all open these. I, I think it's pretty cool. Ah. So, we have two heads, but now, of course, we need to find the vessel. You can only unlock the secrets of this room by purchasing shivers. Do you dare? Well, uh, yeah. Oh, right, this was, uh, this looks very similar, doesn't it? So, is it, was it here or here? Yeah, some sort of valve. Yeah, I hear some water. We have water, but for what? Why, why, why do we need water? Probably for something somewhere. The item in this case was found in a main ceremonial cave in British Honduras. The jade skull is one of the largest jade items in the world. That's pretty cool. Let's have a look at it. Oh. Panic, help. <laughs> okay. That was funny.
Oh, you see, I just reloaded this game, and now we got the uh, the body. There's some sort of uh, sign on there of a uh, what seems to be some sort of lion. Now, if I only had that head that I had when I had a head, uh, uh huh. I'll take it. Can we go back? And maybe this time around... We actually have a match? Probably not. No. We don't have a match, and if you don't have a match, you will just switch items. But that's uh, that's kind of cool that they randomized the uh, the item locations because you know otherwise everything would be quite simple. We're going to have a look at the case where the jade skull was in. At least I wanted to. And that that seems to be here. Ah, okay. So this is the panic button. Can't really touch that, because that will just, uh, crash the game. <laughs> okay, another one. Can we have a look, please? Hmm, that's funny. Ah, oh, there we go. So another symbol on this one is the bottom part of, uh, I don't know, doesn't really seem to be an animal, or, or does it? Anyway, I'll take it. Boom, boom. Did we leave the, the head here? Yeah. I'd rather take this one. Now we turn on the water here, or we're gonna do that later. Let's move a little bit further into the museum. Because there's another door here. You can only unlock the secrets of this room by purchasing shivers. Do you dare? Do, do you want me to purchase shivers? Is that it? But the professor built this room with something very strange in mind, and I I also love these these signs because obviously they're not in a full version, so they you know, I do have to get a bit creative for the demo. Is there anything here? Some hieroglyphs. Ah, uh, let's move to the desk. I sense something important here. Yep. It is the Museum of the Strange and Unusual. That's where we are. I wish I had a bit of a, a bit of a zoom in, but it says, "Welcome to the world's most unusual museum. Share the excitement of the explorers of the past as you discover the strange and wonderful world of the ancients. Solve puzzles meant to confound sages of the past. Here's your first one. Scattered throughout the museum are hundreds of amazing items. Find the following exhibits." The giant eagle's nest, the viking burial, the myth of the werewolf, the legend of the Daros, and the tomb of the Aixupi. The That's really the main theme of this uh, game. And the two-headed Celtic, or Celtic god. Two-headed Celtic god, yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Love the artwork of this, very cool. But this is sort of a introduction to the museum, because you actually enter the museum of course, not just spawning into the office like we did, but coming coming from somewhere else. Is there another door here? Yeah, there is. But it's not gonna read. Ah, I would like to read what's on there, but no chance. I love the you know the window nod, the W. It's, it's a nice touch. 
I believe there's also something. Hmm. Another door. You can only unlock the secrets of this room by purchasing shivers. Do you dare? <laughs> yeah. Rooms that no one alive has ever seen. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like it. But I thought there was some sort of chandelier or something up here that, that could contain one of these uh, exupies, but... It might have been 20 years since I played this game, so forgive me if I'm wrong. Uh, we can, ah, here we are. You see, you see. There's a... There could be one in these as well. <laughs> nice. Okay, so is there anything in... Uh, on this side of the... Uh... Yeah, we got some secret panel. Ah, you found one of the many secret passages. <laughs> but... We can't go in. Well. Ah, another door. Great. This one does open. Oh, nice. Spiders. There's something here. It says Dr. Stanley Bolov, Mount Pleasant Drugs, Mary Campbell. Um, this is uh, some sort of inhaler from Mary Campbell, one of the kids that was uh, supposedly following uh, Professor. Oh, I do remember that there was some sort of button that you can press to. Yeah, here it is. From a 60-foot giant squid that can pull a small fishing boat into the depths of the sea to the two-inch poison dart frog. No, 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 wait, I was listening to that. <laughs> but apparently when you turn away, the, the voice sort of dies down. From a 60-foot giant squid that can pull a small fishing boat into the depths of the sea to the two-inch poison dart frog that carries enough poison to kill 1,500 people. Nothing is stranger than the animal kingdom. Is it any wonder that the ancients worshipped and feared these strange beasts? I love the voice acting. It's just spot on. Spotty, spotty on. Let's have a look at this. The unicorn. Found in many cultures, is theorized to have existed at one time, but is now extinct. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Marco Polo wrote about having seen unicorns in the area that is now Russia. This bronze metal statue was found buried in a tomb in Greece. Well, let's have a look. No, this, uh... Can't really interact with that. Four miles under the ocean surface, while searching through the sunken wreckage of the British vessel HMS Whitmore, the rare specimen of the starfish Profundalby was claimed to have been found. It was wrapped around the skull of one of the members of the crew. Right. Nah, can't do anything with these. Hopefully, what? That's a big, big, big fellow over here. Uh, what's this then? I think this is another uh, lair of the Aigzupi. Where you can find one, but there's none in here at the moment. This looks pretty fierce. Found in a tar pit in Turkey were the bones of an unusual animal that baffled paleontologists. They decided the bones were from three animals, the wings of a paradactyl, the body of a saber-toothed tiger, and the head of a raptor. Never once did they consider the obvious that it was a griffin written about in ancient literature and now extinct. Yeah, awesome. I like this one as well. Um, I was actually gonna try and yeah, find a door. Yeah, pretty.
pretty pretty cool. Do we have a button? You have stepped into the world of amazing plants. For centuries, plants have been used to beautify man's surroundings for food, shelter, and to heal the sick. And like Socrates, who was executed by drinking poison hemlock, man has discovered plants have a lethal side too. Yeah, I like it. I like that uh, the, this button feature. Just that when turning away from it, it kind of dies down. That's a bit annoying because I would just like to walk around and hear it. But a little statue here that we can't interact with. Ah, now this is interesting. A lot of jars and... Is there one among them wait, that we can use? I don't know, it doesn't seem like that. Mm. That's a bit of a shame because... <laughs> dude, we need one. But the music is awesome, that's, that's for sure. I mean, some of the rooms do contain a lot of items, a lot of things. It's sometimes easy to to overlook one, but there doesn't seem to be much to interact with here. I do know that this uh, is another layer of the Exupi from my past memory. Ah, now here, I think this is one. Oh, yeah. We've got one. Yay. I'd like to have a look at it, please. I, I, I. Doesn't seem to be working very well. But now is it complete? So, there's a nice symbol on there as well. We can now capture the uh, Exupi in the fireplace. Because I think I've exhausted all the locations in this demo. And most of the things that you can witness. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I do like to have a little look at the spider though. It creeps me out. The large spider is Therapos leblondi, or bird eating spider. Birds, eh? Right. No, I don't think. Oh, wait, 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 wait a fucking minute. I think this is, uh, yeah, yeah. It's another puzzle, I think. Oh my god, this takes me back. Can you turn these? Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, it's orange. You can only unlock the secrets of this room by purchasing shivers. Do you dare? Ah, so this is actually the cue card <laughs> for the actor. Nice. That's a nice touch. But uh, I think you have to, like, yeah, turn them and uh, press the button. But uh, I have no idea what this puzzle is like. Let me try that again. Yellow. Purple. Blue. Green. Yeah, I'll leave it for now. If you want to discover what that puzzle is uh, is all about, uh, be my guest, play the game, buy the game, if you dare. Right, that's not the right way to go back. But, um, hmm. A ladder. Oh, cool, some eggs here. Probably one of the... Uh, Hiding places of those evil entities. 
glad to have picked that up while I was uh, stumbling to find the other exit. Which seems to be over here. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, an X, right. That's interesting. Someone uh, was a bit upset. So what we're going to do now is we're going to capture the uh, evil bastard here in the fireplace. And what you have to do is click this thing on it. There we go. You are a prisoner. Your desiccated corpse lies lifeless on the floor of the museum, while you are a prisoner of this vessel. That's uh, that's one that's in there. We need to find all of them, in, of course, in the full game. Um, I'm not sure if there's an actual end to this demo, but one of our goals was to also find a professor. And uh, since I had to like reload a couple of times, I'm just going to find him again. But uh, I'll fast forward, so don't worry. So, there is no real end screen to this demo, which is uh, a bit annoying. We got 33,725 points score. Yeah, that's as much as I can show you from the demo. If you uh, know anything that I haven't uh, discovered, then uh, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, uh, I hope you enjoy it and goodbye. Shivers, available at your local retailer, November 95.